This is a fish omelet. But before we get to the cooking, you're gonna watch this almost get run over by a boat, but we ended up hooking up on some fish. Dan, did you just see that? <laughs> he just went right over my line. Oh! Fish on, fish on. It's a real fish. It's a real fish, Dan. I have a good feeling about, oh, Dan, I'm on too. I'm on. I got a mutton. Oh, another mutton. So that means you should be getting hooked up in about 10 seconds. Oh, Dan, quadruple double hookup. Well, hello, all my beautiful subscribers. I have a truck bed full of gasoline, full of oil, and you know whose truck this is? That's Dan's truck, because Dan just got here. We're loading up the boat, and we're gonna do some fishing. We are getting the boat loaded down with rods, bait, and all that good stuff, and we got some bait swimming right off the back of the boat, and Dan's gonna throw a net on them. Hopefully, we black out the live well in one cast. Wishfully, Wishful thinking. They're right there. Right. right there. Yeah, I think if you cast from this side and like. And, and like try to spread it out that way. Do you see all these Here guys? They come. You gotta see what's behind them. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's a whole, there's a whole platoon. A platoon. Calling the artillery strike, Dan. Oh, I got caught on that damn engine. <laughs> oh, no. it. They're in there. There's tons of them in there. There's oh, tons no. of them in there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I got the gaff. Maybe. Oh shit, there's tons of them in there. Okay, you got it. We got some. We got some. We got some. We got some. Oh wait, there's still. It's still oh, on there. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Got it. You got it. Okay. Wait, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if there was another one of us, it would be the three. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. There's definitely some bait in there now. We got water. L look at this kayaker. He's got a roof. You <laughs> see that? The moon get burned by the Florida sun. Damn, he's, he's like, everyone else is doing it wrong. Okay, we have a live well full of pilchards, thanks to Dan's amazing cast netting skills. <laughs> Dan needed credit. I needed credit. He needed I need validation. <laughs> yeah, validation. <laughs> and you got it. You got a whole live well full of live pilchards. And what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the patch reefs, put out some chum, some pilchards, try to catch some live ballyhoo, maybe catch some mutton snappers or some other, whatever we catch on the patch reefs. And then if the weather holds up, we're going to move offshore and do some deeper stuff. Maybe some jigging, maybe a tuna. Let's go fishing. I will fire up the boat. Woo, she turned on right away. These are good times we're living in. Hey, I can turn the live well on now. We already got the chum defrosting. All right, do you want to untie the front? And I'll untie the back. Aye. Ah, beautiful day, blue skies. Running like a top. You only want 70 for this? I only want 70 grand for the boat. 80 or 90. And it's running like you know, a dream. I, well, I was going to list it for 90, but people would have just lowballed me at 70, so I might as well just sell it for 70. Take, take, take 70, be done. Take advantage of me, you know, tie me to the bed, have your way with me. I just want the 70, and we're good. All right. Is that a quick 70 grand? This could be yours. <laughs> I think I like that station the best because when you're out there sail fishing, you could sight fish those sail. Fish. Yeah, it's got and this. And the guy on the bow casts, so wherever the captain tells him to throw, we're gonna do that this afternoon, maybe. All right. That'd be good, right? That would be good. Right. right. All right. Take off time. Got okay, nice. Lift off. I think All right. we should really quickly, here, if you should throw this out. Okay, put a I'll, pilchard on there. Yeah, pilchard, and we're gonna cast it right to that piling. Cause I have snagged some huge shit off that piling. If you can, Take try to grab one. two decent ones. Okay. See that big one? Oh yeah, oh, hello. Yeah, that one right there is a beauty. Come here, come to me. Oh How yeah. How you hook You know, I'm not sure, I'm gonna hook them through the, into the bottom of the mouth and out yeah. through the nose. Yeah. All right, if we can catch a fish right off the rip, it's always a good idea to stop at these pilings and toss a live bait up on the weighted yellowtail hook. I've seen huge permits hanging hanging on these things. Did your pilchard get off your hook? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know how I knew that? <laughs> because a pilchard just came swimming by over here. Yeah. 
I guess he doesn't care. Dan, did you just see that? What the f***? What the f***? He just went right over my line. How unsafe was that? That was crazy. And he even gave me the like, what's up, shock a wave. Damn. Oh, okay. Can we title the video Nearly Run Over and Murdered? <laughs> that looked like Miami coming through. I'm not gonna lie. Well, my pilchard is dead because I think that boat scared him. All right, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I, what? Were, were you filming? No. Oh man, I got it on video. I thought for sure that he was gonna go on the other side of the pole. There's no way I thought he'd come in between us. Yeah, that was crazy. He could have gone anywhere. 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 To come right through us. Wow. That's insane. There's a really nice rock structure right behind us. Yep. All right, we're out in 30 feet of water, crystal clear blue water, and I'm talking, I'm talking crystal clear blue, crystal meth kind of blue. <laughs> uh, you, you could see the reef down there. Holy smokes. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I'm going to cry. It's so beautiful. Drop anchor. Oh, okay. Hiya. All right, anchor is down. Oh man, this water is tic tickling my tangler. Those guys are hooting and hollering over there. They must be catching fish. All right, good looking pilchard. I only have eight pound test on here. If I hook a mutton, I'm, I'm going to regret it. Oh, the chum is going that way. Oh my God, Dan, don't tell me this boat's gonna run us over. Why are they turning right at us? That boat's massive. Oh, oh. I had a fish. Dan, I got bit off. Did you? Oh, shit. Oh, and you got a rock. I got a rock. You got bit off. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I can't believe I got bit off. That was a good fish, whatever it was. Could have been a nice zero mackerel. This guy's coming pretty close, too, man. Yeah, we got another boat that's about to run us over. It's a big boat. Look at that thing. Beauty. And it's, it's towing another boat behind it. Now, if that ain't living life, then I don't know what is. I need to put a new hook on this rod. I wonder if I should go up and lead her or not. Wow, look, it's got a jet ski on the back too. Look, it's got, oh, there's a chick on the back. Two of them. Hello, ladies. Should I flex for them, Dan? They're not looking. I want them to look. You got a fish on there, Dan? Danny boy, Captain Danny boy. Got a fish. Danny boy's got a fish. Oh. A tiny weenie grouper. Oh, strawberry. Come on, Dan. There's no size limits on him. Look at that. He's like the one I got. The one I got mounted. That Joyce mounted for me. He's no good. size limit, Dan. We can eat them. That's it. Put them on a sandwich. Yeah, they are pretty you fish. That. Very pretty look fish. Like this. Look at that. Arr. Arr. Arg, matey. Nice. Oh yeah, that is a pretty pretty fish. All right. All right, we're gonna let him go, right? Yeah. Let you go, buddy. Oh, I think he. I think he ate it. I got him. Yeah. A fish! A fish! A fish! Don't get your hopes up too high though. He's coming in pretty easy. Yellowtail? It a beautiful yellowtail. Yeah, a cute little yellowtail. Look at him. He wanted the bonita chunk. Now we need bigger ones. Yep. Whoop. Oh. He's a D hooker too. Yeah. Alright, Dan has gracefully pulled up the anchor. That's the biggest lesson to learn with patchery fishing. If you haven't caught a good fish in 30 minutes, it's probably a good time to move. And you know what else is a good rule of thumb? You want a beer, Dan? Yes, I do. You'll take a beer? If they ain't biting, if they ain't then biting, don't <laughs> then vote Trump. Oh! <laughs> if they ain't biting, Biden, then vote Trump. Trump. Damn, did you just come up That's with that, dude? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you cracked me up. <laughs> oh man. I'm having deja vu. Oh, an anchor throwing kind of deja vu. Who needs a gym when you can just go fishing? Come on, is he still on there? There was something there. There was something. There definitely was. 
I'm gonna check. I think he stole my bait. Oh, he's why wow, he's still on there. Okay, okay, okay. Man, this is a, a rough. It's a desert out here on the patch reefs today. A desert, and that's with one S, not two. Okay, time to pull that anchor. And then we head offshore. That's the best freaking anchor polar I've ever seen. You can't buy this at the boat show. <laughs> or can you? Hmm. Or can you? Or can you? I guess there's a price for everything. All right, time to relax and do some jigging. I'm gonna tell everyone the bad news, Dan. Go ahead. We have not seen a single fish. No ballyhoo. There's not even Bermuda chubs. There's not snap. Nothing. There's just nothing. It's like an EMT went off and everything is gone. <laughs> the EMT finally went off. <laughs> yeah. So patch reefs not on fire for us today we've been chumming on we've tried three different spots no spots had any fish so now we're gonna head offshore and we are going to do some vertical jigging we're gonna drop these jigs down between 130 to like 230 feet try a bunch of spots jig it up and down and hopefully a fish grabs on okay we are out in 126 feet of water and we are marking some fish down there so Hopefully this is where the day changes. A subscriber made me this vertical jig. Can't wait to drop it down. Dan, you already dropped down? Okay, you're down. I better get down. Dan's right down on it. Uh, uh. Right down on it. Mm, mm. You're on? Are you kidding me? Dan's on. Oh! Okay, Dan is on. Is this, uh, should I get the gaff ready? Not yet. Dan says he doesn't know he's hooked yet and it's got some weight to it. Could be a rock, could be a rock. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of you right now. Oh, I caught a bag. I do have a net here, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll have it. Oh, what's going on here? You spotted the fish. Oh, he's still coming up, huh? That oh! Is the biggest thick fish I've ever seen in my life. Hey, that's an eater size. That is a huge dicky fish. The dicky fish. Get on board. Woo, dicky fish on board. <laughs> Dang. That's a nice worm you just got just, there, Dan. Uh, what a face. What a hook. He's got teeth too, doesn't he? He's a good size you one. Him? I mean, I don't, I don't particularly, but if you try him. I'll take him. I'll, right. You know what? I'll take him. Okay. At this point, no regrets. You know? uh, how big is he? You mean like lengthwise? I'm trying to decide if he's worth keeping yeah. or not. Wow, wow. He's got the hook in there yeah, good, huh? You know what? He's he's not that big. He'll make it. I mean, he'll make it if we, if we send him yeah. back to Let's send them back. Let's try to get a karma point here. Oh, that's where their spine is? And it'll poke you? Yeah, it'll poke. Okay. Bye. Have a beautiful day. Perfect release. All right, all right, we got the karma points loaded up. Things are starting to look good. <laughs> fish on, fish on. I'm like, dude, you're on. <laughs> Yeah, it's a real yeah. fish. It's a real fish, Dan. That's karma coming back. It's not even a fake fish. It's a real fish. Oh, here it comes. We oh, might nice. uh, we might need the net. I don't know yet. Okay. It's hard to tell. It's swimming weird. Like, oh, boy. All right. You know what? This dick fish is going home with me. Ooh. Uh, no more mercy for the... Hit the wrong thing, my Oh, friend. he's a nice girthy one, too. Okay. Oh, 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 my God. What was that? There is definitely some fish getting marked. Yeah, it's officially a catch and cook. <laughs> Everything's a bonus from now on, Dan. We don't even need to catch another fish. No pressure. Now we're just fun fishing. I have a good feeling about... Oh, Dan, I'm on too! I'm on! Oh my god! You're on too? Double hookup? Oh, I got a big fish on. Dan, we just smacked it! Ah, uh, see, this is why you keep trying new spots until you find... I got a big fish on here, Dan. Is yours coming up? Mine is not happy, either. Oh, I'm pumping mine to the top. Oh, yeah, you like that? Mm. Oh, yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I don't know, man. Amberjack? Amberjack? My, mine's coming up too easy to be an Amberjack. I'm thinking I got a big grouper, maybe. Oh, I see color on mine. Oh, <gasps> Dan! <laughs> yeah. I got a mutton! Oh, 
<laughs> oh yeah! Oh, you got a nice red! Dude! Oh, and the day changed just like that. The day has changed. Wow! Yeah! Yeah, I think so too. He's about to get the measuring stick. If you're on a good spot, then you're on hook the spot. You're, you're, on okay. the spot. you're on the spot. You're on the spot. You're on the spot. That's we it. double hook up right away, first okay. drop. That's no how. No fish all day in the same spot. If they're not there, they're not there. Move. That's the lesson of, the, of this day. Oh, He's fat. He's a fat mutton. He's a fat mutton. Easy, right? he, he's almost 21. Nice. Woo! Okay, stoked, stoked. Dan's releasing his. Go. Mine's going in the box. We got some meat. I don't know about you, but I think we should drop our jigs down again. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, got my boat. Man, that thing hit the bottom, and boom. Yeah, Dan, you were like, you were like, I'm hooked up, and then right when you said that, I gave mine my first pump up. Bam! Damn. Bottom yet? No, bottom. no, but as soon as I hit the bottom, it's going to be a hookup. I'm going to count to, f oh, I'm on the bottom. I'm about to have a fish, Dan. It's about to happen. What's going on over there? Oh, ah, oh, I think I just got whacked. Dropping it back down. This is an exciting spot. Yes. Come on, fishy, come on. I'm back on the bottom. Yeah, our drift's a little different than last time. Oh, you're on? Oh, Dan's on. Nice. You know what? That means they're probably fired up and they're gonna wanna eat mine. They are fired up down there. You look them right on the bottom? Yeah, right off the bottom. Right off the bottom. I'm probably taking my jig too far up off the bottom. Yeah, so How's he feeling? No, he's not a biggie. All right. But, oh! Oh, nice. Oh, no. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it drop down. Drop it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was a, I just got whacked right there. That's a fish. Yep, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a fish. fish. Oh, oh. You again, buddy. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, baby mutton. Baby. Uh, my, my guy's coming up. Another mutton would be great. <laughs> you know, a day where you put two muttons in a boat is always very satisfying. Oh, sometimes he feels heavy. Sometimes he. Oh, another mutton. That looks like a keeper to me. Oh, hey, me, Mr. Mutton. Is he? Is he good? I'm about to find out. I hope he is. This this mutton is. I got a lot of spunk. That's a deuce. Yep. Nice. That's a sandwich. That is a good sandwich. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you kept flicking around. You know what time it is? Time to go back out and go get another one. Let's, yep. Yeah. Right, Might be time to drop down again. Time to drop it down. Ew. More meat on the boat. All right, can we do another double hookup? Can we get three double hookups in a row? Maybe. You on the bottom already? On the bottom. So that means you should be getting hooked up in about 10 seconds. Bingo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Dan. <laughs> I didn't, haven't even got my jig down to the bottom yet. <laughs> Kablam! Should I wait? Let me just wait for you. Splat! Uh, no, bring yours up first, or, or else they're gonna. <laughs> oh yeah, they might see each other. You know? Or they're gonna like work together. We'll be passing each other by. But right now the trophy fish just watched my jig fall down. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! That's a big one. Oh! <laughs> Double hookup. We've lost many fish trying to get the the angle. So this is for you guys. That's right, sure. Oh my God, another mutton. No, no, that's a grouper. Oh, gr okay. Oh, man, how do we do this? Wait, that's oh, that's us. your grouper. It's us. Oh, wait, there's another fish there's down another there. Fish. Oh, I had a feeling this was gonna happen too. Here, maybe. Here we go. Here we go. I think I can do it. This way. <laughs> oh, whoops. He needs to go around like. Wee! Mary, go! We're at a carnival. Mary! <laughs> this is too much, man. How the hell did We couldn't have done this if we tried. Yeah. Nice. You'd have to pay me to. T oh! oh. Nice. Good Wait. <laughs> you got a fish on there, too, right? Yeah, I got a fish this chilling down there. Too I wonder what my fish is down there. He's just hanging out. Dan, your fish is floating away. Oh, shit. Okay, my fish is still on. I got a, I got a baby mutton. All right. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Double hookup. 
Triple double hookup. Yeah, do it. Maybe this is where the big ones are. There he goes. With this strike of thunder, we're about to break the world record. Quadruple double hookup. Oh! Okay, now I need a hookup. We're gonna have the quadruple double here. Oh my God. Dan's on, Dan's on. Now I just gotta get mine. That's insane. Dan, quadruple double hookup. This is, yeah, that is, that is. We thought it couldn't be done, but here we are. It's against all, all of the laws of the cosmos. Oh. A quadruple double. Oh, we have never done a quadruple double hookup on vertical jigging. <laughs> Holy it's smokes. It's the laws of physics. <laughs> it can't be done. Mathematicians are going to be writing books about us for years, Dan. Right. For centuries. Oh. I like how that rolls off the tongue, too. Oh, Quadru right, yours. Are we. Somebody. Are we. Uh, oh, again. <laughs> we're stuck oh, on this. Oh, 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 I'm off. off. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, Mutton Snapper. Another Mutton Snapper he's got. Oh, yeah. We are what do you got, Dan? I don't know. Probably the grouper. <laughs> you got a mutton. I think so. Oh, oh, oh that's a keeper. Woo. Woo. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Mutton Snapper on the jig. On the jig. Oh, man. Nice. Science. A quadruple double hookup. That's a good looking mutton. That's amazing. Is it possible? Can we do? Can we do a quintuple double hookup? Would that be a quintuple double hookup? Quintuple double oh hookup. God! How could no? It's possible. It's, well, not impossible. it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Oh Got yeah. Come on there. Yep. All right. Good. Nice. <laughs> All right. That's it, man. Wow. That's three muttons in the box. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are going for the quintuple, qu quintuple, double, double, quintuple double hookup. So Dan just hit the bottom. You're on? Yep. Okay, Dan's on. I'm on. Oh, now I have to get one. Oh, let's do it. Dan! I, I I'm on! I I'm on! Oh, no, Quint oh, no, mine's gone. You lost yours? Oh, mine. Get back on one, Dan. We need that quintuple hookup. <laughs> oh, no, I lost it. Oh! What do you got? Oh! Get him up. Uh oh. No, he went into a rock. Rocking? He's still in there. I still feel him though. Oh no. Are you rock? He I'm not rocked, but well, I think he's in a rock, but I Oh you I, got him out. You he got came him. out. You got him out. You okay. Whew. Get off the bottom, boy. It's technically still a quintuple hookup because you we, we got both hooked got up. hooked up. <laughs> yeah, you're still down. You're still on the Ooh. Oh he He got sharked. Oh he got sharked, dude. You think he'll be okay? <laughs> what what are you laughing about, Dan? You don't think my fish is gonna be okay? He's transparent. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn, my mutton got a. Yeah, let me. Ah, yeah. <sighs> well. That's the end of that. That's the end of that. He live? I mean, he, you know. Yeah, he'll be fine. I mean, only half his organs are missing. Yeah, I think. Uh... I think you'll regenerate them. And... Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Look at that. What, what cut him in half what like that? that? Yeah. Whatever it was, it must have been huge. Cause you think it got him from the head and just chomped him? Oh, he's not floating. He's good. He's fine. Yeah, of course. Look, he's kicking. <laughs> Slightly disturbing. Going down once again. Every drop's been a hookup so far. That's crazy. Oh, I'm on. Nice. Yeah. There he is. That might be him. Oh, yeah. I better get him up quick. I don't know. It's hard to tell. He doesn't feel huge. Now he's just coming up like a rocket. Leader. Oh, another. Another. Not net worthy, but still fun to catch on a jig. On a jig. Nice. All right, I'm going back. I got to re-rig. All right. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on. This little jig has been slaying. The fish felt really big, and then it kind of like, uh, if I had to guess, he's a 16 and a half incher. Yeah, another mutton. Another mutton. Yep, he is. He's he's a little short one. That's crazy. He's kicking though. He's a he's a feisty one. Yeah, he'll swim back down. All right, bud. Oh yeah, look, he went back down. Yes, he did. 
Nice, like a rocket ship. I'm on again. I'm on again. Dan, where's your fish? I don't know, man. I will say though, it, it doesn't feel like a huge fish. It is a fish, it is a fish. Yep, I hit the bottom, I started reeling up and slam. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I got shark. Wait, he's swimming crazy. He's swimming crazy. It, I think his tail got cut off. Something weird just happened. Oh. Yes, you're right. Wow, oh, Dan. Oh, I thought, I thought that was the shark. His tail, I could tell, I felt his tail get cut off. Look at that. Jeez. Jeez Louise. That ain't right. Oh, uh, I want my money back. Oh, Dan, the shark's right here. It's a, it's a barracuda. Oh, no wonder why. Oh. Barry. Hey, Barry, don't you want them? Come on, Barry. You know what? My neighbor really wants some barracuda. I might try something here. Come on, Barry. Don't you want it? <laughs> You know, they're smart. As soon, once they realize that it's like on a line next to a boat, they right. they stop trying to eat it. All right, well, his loss. Yeah, that was a treat for him. Well, there you go. A beautiful mutton snapper. Fortunately, we can't keep them. Even once unfortunately. they- Unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Damn. The day started off slow. Things started getting- <laughs> <laughs> The day sure did start off slow. Well, it sure did. Sure did. <laughs> oh, man. And we started getting pretty desperate. You know, I started putting penis fish in the cooler. <laughs> That's a bad day. And then, you know, you got to change up the game. When the bite is off, try different things. We went vertical jigging. We started hitting a bunch of spots. And when you find them, you finally find them. We found them. So now we're going to head back home, clean them up, cook them up. And that's a wrap. Uh, back in the beautiful mangroves. Home sweet home. Yeah, no snook. No, no snook? snook? No snook. What'd you use? What'd you, what'd you read? Oh my god, man. We use a pinfish, poacher, shrimp, <laughs> artificial, right, fucking deal. you name it, man. Damn, everything. Yeah, we, here, we saw them all under the ledge, but today we didn't see them. Oh, you didn't even see them today? No, there yeah. was nothing, man. I mean, I was throwing top water. We got a couple nice mangroves. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we were out on the patch race and it was pretty dead out there. Was it? But then we went offshore and we got a bunch of muttons. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Nice man. Hell yeah. But it was a, it was a tough day. We worked it today, man. We worked it. All right, hit me up when you get back. Ooh, we and just like that we are back home. Looking good, docked up. I'll go grab some fillet knives and we will clean some fish. Fillet table is ready for some fish. I have this beautiful popper and I've never been able to throw it at anything. One mutton, two mutton, three mutton. Bingo. There's some good looking little fishies around here. Oh yeah, I already washed all those. They're oh. You did this already? Yeah, they're good to go. We need to like have special tags to put on them. Like those bikers that have the things on their vests. We'll have like our own emblems. We got muttons. They know it's feeding time. What a beautiful color on these things. They are beautiful. Right? A lot of people are like, oh, that's my, that's my bucket line. Like if we go out and target muttons, it's a good chance. I think after this trip, we're going to be putting in 10, 10 muttons in the box every time. And find some more in the little nugget. Place. Yeah, I bet there's they're scattered around. You just have to slowly find them and then actually test them. I always have to plan it in advance when I want to keep the throats. I just, ah, uh, I poked him, but um, his belly's floating. Oh yeah, I might cook this tonight. I'm not sure yet. All right, you got everything? Yeah, it's not, it's not lost. Uh, Bill Davis said hi. 
All right, all right. Thanks, man. Have a good day today. It was really good. Yeah, it was good. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Just got back from a little fishing trip. Got some, got some mutton snappers. That was good. Oh, oh that's cool. that's good eating. yeah. Yeah. We're in the kitchen, and I have my bag of mutton snapper, and we're gonna be making a breakfast recipe. This is gonna be fish omelets, but different. All right, and I'm just gonna take you through the steps. We're gonna find out how good is fish for breakfast. All right. The first step is mix milk with water in a large shallow pan and bring to a boil. Gonna use a wok pan for that. All right, we're gonna do 50% water and 50% milk, grass-fed, grass-finished milk. The best of the best. All right, step two, add bay leaves, onion, and pepper. I told you guys I was gonna step up my cooking game and I'm making it a thing where every, every episode now, I, I'm striving to make a recipe that I've never done before. That way we keep things exciting here on the South Florida Fishing Channel. I think like probably about half my viewers come for the cooking and not the actual fishing, which is kind of crazy, but that's how it is. <laughs> Throw a couple of bay leaves in there. I think like three bay leaves is plenty. Some black peppercorn. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And then our onions. I got a good feeling about this. So this is going to be our cream that we poach our fish in. And here we have a beautiful piece of mutton snapper. I'm gonna make two fillets. I think that's a good breakfast portion. And what I'm gonna do with the fillets is just cut out the bloodline. The bloodline is that red meat and it can make some funny tastes in your fish. So I like to just cut them out. And then we will chop up the fish into manageable chunks. Our cream is now boiling, so we're gonna reduce the heat and we wanna bring it down to a light simmer. And then we're gonna throw the fish in there and we're gonna poach it. All right, a beautiful, healthy portion of fish, fresh caught mutton snapper on the vertical jig. Does it get any better than that? All right, and now we are just going to slowly poach this fish, which is gonna take about three to five minutes you don't want the water cream boiling. We just want a nice light simmer. Things are heating up. I got some butter in a pan over here where we're gonna make the omelet. But first we gotta make our base, which is gonna be five eggs. And before we stir them up, I'm gonna add some salt. And we will also add some of the South Florida Fishing Channel Fish and Game Seasoning, lemon pepper. Mmm. That is a zesty, beautiful flavor to have in the morning. Some lemon pepper in there, stir it up. Wow, I feel like a professional egg beater right now. <laughs> Our fish should be fully cooked now. It's been about five minutes. Yes, nice flaky fish. We will be putting that into a bowl along with some of the onions and other delicious things. Okay, our butter is nicely melted. So let's pour in our egg. We'll let the egg solidify a little bit, and then we're gonna put the magic on top. The egg's starting to solidify, so let's add the fish on top. And we wanna flake the fish up a bit, so give it, just give it a little bit of flaking. Oh yeah, there, now we're talking. All right, now we'll just kind of try to give it a nice even spread here. Ooh, that's hot, I had to put it down for a second. All right, but that's not all. We're gonna take some feta cheese and sprinkle that on top.
Now for the hardest part, I'm not gonna try to fold it in perfectly, but I do wanna somewhat try to fold this. I wonder if I could give it a flip. Oh no, that would be bad. If I flip this omelet, I already know something tragic is gonna happen. Now, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, wow. This is where things get a little crazy. This is the biggest thing I could find. Probably the only thing that's gonna fit this insane omelet. We'll try to do this somewhat gracefully. Oh boy. Come on, buddy. Go on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's coming apart. It's okay. Actually, that looks great. It lets you look at the insides. All we gotta do now is add some dill. We got ourselves some fresh organic dill. Wow, wow. And I will just hand, hand chop it up, toss it on there. Woo! Mmm, smells very good. Okay, that is probably plenty. And then we will also add a little bit of sour cream. You wanna fluff your sour cream before you lay it down, but uh, I am not a sour cream expert. As you can tell. Holy moly, we've done it boys. We've graduated. We got some serious omeletage going on here. Okay, okay, look what we have in front of us. That is a big portion of food. And the real question is, how does it taste? Is this gonna be a recipe that I recommend? <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out, and that is with a fork. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna cut off a nice, beautiful piece there. Ton of fish on the inside. What do y'all think? Is this gonna be the new breakfast special? <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, right off the rip. This is, this is where my brain is going. This is what I would imagine getting served if I went to a nice restaurant, like a higher end restaurant on the water and it was Sunday brunch. And this is what I would get with my mimosa. This is exactly what I would imagine receiving and I would be very happy with it. It's very light, flavorful and creamy. The feta cheese makes it super creamy. Let's put a little bit of sour cream on there too. Oh, mmm. The sour cream really brings it all together, especially with the dill in there. Ooh, chugga chugga choo choo. Mmm, mmm. Very creamy. The whole thing is extremely creamy. The fish just flakes and melts in your mouth. That And the flavors are just very uplifting and very light flavors, which is kind of what you want with a breakfast food. You don't want to, you know, fill yourself up and feel bloated for breakfast. So this, this is the perfect, man, this, Highly recommend it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like I got a feast ahead of me. And I don't know if you noticed, but a little sneak peek. We might have some merch coming out soon. Some South Florida Fishing Channel merch on the website. We just launched our windbreakers, which are on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. We got more merch coming. So if you want to support the channel, head over to my website and get yourself some cool stuff. But if you don't want to splooge on some merch, Hitting that like button, you guys that hit the like button, you're the real OGs. Thank you for making all this possible and I'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers.